This is our 10th full-length movie about rocket mass heaters and similar rockety things. And in none of our earlier movies do we mention the importance of a rocket mass heater. Rocket mass heaters are possibly the most powerful solution to many problems today. Global problems and individual problems. For individuals, one rocket mass heater can save thousands of dollars and bring greater comfort. If a billion people used rocket mass heaters as their primary heat source, it would solve a list of global problems. The only barrier to this solution is knowledge. These movies are our attempt to convey what we know. At the same time, we're bonkers about perpetually optimizing these designs. Your support of these movies keeps the innovation machine moving forward. To grok the tenth movie, let's recap the previous nine. Our first movie, Fire Science, demonstrates things about fire and heat most people are not aware of. Things that are good to know to understand how this stuff works. Our second movie, Sneaky Heat, covers the general design of rocket mass heaters. The Boom Squish movie is about heating water. The Hot Rocket movie introduces rocket stoves, common tools, and shows an early rocket forge prototype. These first four movies were a strong success and people wanted more. So we came out with building a cob style rocket mass heater featuring two off-grid builds, one in a log structure and one in an uninsulated teepee. Next was building a pebble style rocket mass heater. Three builds with a different style over the traditional cob style, including the best performing rocket mass heater we have experienced. Our seventh movie in this series was building a rocket mass heater shippable core. We built five different portable styles of cores. The eighth movie features a brick manifold, stratification chambers, a rocket smoker, the ring of fire, which is a way for people to have their butts warmed outside while enjoying a fire. Peter Vandenberg's first ever 8-inch batch box rocket mass heater. And a combination oven, water heater, and griddle. Our ninth movie was about several rocket oven builds. And now, for this, our tenth movie about rocket stuff. In this movie, you will see details about our new juice box stratification design idea, a quick overview of the rocket mass heater basics, a beautiful build of a Lorena rocket stove and cooktop, a humble pebble style rocket mass heater in the solarium, a solar food dehydrator with rocket assist, a short summary of why we won't be using 4-inch J-tubes at Wheaton Labs anymore. A Cobb-style rocket mass heater for a tiny house. A commercial rocket heater, the Gamera, in a tiny cabin. An introduction to the cottage rocket design with some burn tests. A commercial rocket heater, the Liberator, in our wood shop. A rocket sauna featuring a cottage rocket heater. A quick forge or kiln prototype. A quick word about our Jamboree format. The idea is to have five to eight builds happening at the same time. Each attendee can wander from build to build and either observe or participate in each build. This gives the attendees an extremely rich experience in a short amount of time. For information about attending upcoming events, including rocket mass heater workshops and jamborees, please check wheatonlabs.com.